Hello dear students, in financial management, one of the important topic, time value for money. So this concept we are going to discuss. And uh, I'll give you general knowledge also, not only bookish knowledge, so that it will be useful for you practically when you go to any higher post and when you are in finance field, so in any MNCs, it will be useful for you. In that way, I'll give you the explanation, time value for money. The concept, if you see, concept of time value for money, value of money, value of money changes according to the time. Value of money changes according to the time. That is why we say it as a time value for money. Okay, time value for money. This concept in simple one sentence, we can say current money is more valuable than the future. Current money is more valuable than the future. I'll explain it. So the same concept, we call it as a time of preference for money. Current money is more valuable. Say for example, I'm having right now 1 lakh rupee. 1 lakh rupee I'm having. And this 1 lakh rupee value, whatever I'm having at present, 2023, with 1 lakh I can buy a TV, refrigerator, mixi, some items I can buy it. The same 1 lakh worth of rupees after 10 years. Will it be the same value? No. Value will be increasing. At present with 1 lakh rupee, as I said, I can buy TV, refrigerator and also mixi, etc, etc. I can buy. Okay. I have a list, wish list that I can do it. I can fulfill it with 1 lakh rupee at present. But after 10 years, with the same 1 lakh rupee, all these items I may not get. So that is why we say it at current money is more valuable. This is more valuable than the future. In future, after 10 years, after 5 years, 1 lakh value will be always less. Why? Inflation. Always value, money value will be decreasing and the prices are increasing. And of course, salaries are also increasing. So this concept, we say it as a concept of time value of money. In this concept, we are going to discuss, uh, at present, suppose say, uh, I have, as I said, 1 lakh rupee. This is at present. And in future, future, it can be 5 years or 10 years, whatever period you want, you can. So in future, how much it will be? Future means, suppose say, I am saying 10 years. 10 years, how much it will be? So, this is one concept. First concept. And another concept, what we are going to discuss is, uh, after 10 years, after 10 years, you are going to get 10 lakh rupees. After 10 years, you are going to get 10 lakh rupees. But right now, what is the value of this 10 lakh rupees? In 2023, what is the value of 10 lakh rupees. How much is this? 10 lakh is after 10 years. But present what? So this is another concept. First concept and second concept. Present value we know. Present value 1 lakh rupee. Future value we don't know. Future after 10 years how much will be the value we don't know. One concept. Another concept is present. I don't know what is the value, but in future, after 10 years, the value will be 10 lakh rupees. Future 10 lakh rupees. Somebody said, I'll give you 10 lakh rupees. 10 lakh rupees. Future after 10 years, he wanted to give 10 lakh rupees. But in right now, what is the value of that? Right? So these are the two concepts mainly we are going to discuss in the concept of time value of money. Time value of money. Why this time value of money we have to calculate? Why we have to learn this? There are mainly four reasons are there. So reasons for time value of money. The first reason is that very important. You will understand the concept then in the next classes. It will be easy for us to go for the practicals. Okay. So reasons for time value of money. First thing is that risk and uncertainty. Risk and uncertainty. Present value is something future. Who knows? Future it may increase, it may decrease. That is why we say future is risk. And there is uncertainty also. 
value will be increasing or decreasing definitely it will decrease but how much it decreases we don't know so that is why we have to calculate so when we calculate this time value of money so that makes difference on the calculation of money and also when we buy assets like fixed assets land buildings anything if you buy so there also it makes difference right right now i am purchasing a building cost of 5 crore future after 10 years what will be the value so that calculation also you can do it are you getting it so that is why not only the cash and any kind of uh, immovable assets anything the value at present what we are having future what it will be so that is also risk and uncertainty is the main important factor for calculation of present value of money now here risk and uncertainty you can discuss about two points inflows and outflows cash inflow cash outflow cash outflow is in our hands to some extent cash outflow means we are making payment to the uh, maybe creditors we are making payment or we are buying some goods and uh, we are investing somewhere like payments daily wages we are paying operating expenses we are paying so all this cash inflows to some extent it's in our hands but whereas out uh, sorry cash outflows to some extent it is in our hands but inflows it may not be it depends on the situation sometimes we may get profits sometimes we may not every time we get profits but this time we could not because of the recession because of market conditions because of the inflation any reason what whatever it may be the reason so that is why inflow outflows based on that will have the risk and uncertainty so that is the main reason will be calculated in time value of money are you getting it second thing is that preference for consumption consumption who wanted to consume it now consumption right now many people will give the preference because present and future if you see present is important for me future is not much because you who, who knows what's going to happen in future somebody says that i'll give you uh, 1 lakh rupee right now shall i give you now or after 2 years after 6 months what do you say you'll say right now that is called as preference of pre preference of consumption i want to consume it now only so this is also one of the main reason so that's about the present and future future is not certain that is the reason present we are we wanted to take the money we want to consume it present we wanted to expend it anything is whatever you want to do present is important at this concept so that present also you will be calculating in time value of money the next one is that next reason investment opportunities investment opportunities means generally uh, when you have excess money when you wanted to invest something and when you wanted to save money definitely will go for investment when we invest it this concept is important time value for money i am investing right now how much i am investing suppose say 1 crore 1 crore i am investing what about the value of 1 crore after some time how many years i am investing am i investing for 1 uh, year means short term period i am investing for 3 years i am investing for 5 years i am investing for 10 years like how many years in you are investing whatever may be the period you are investing your return how much return you are going to what will be the value of that money after that certain period after one year after three year after five year after 10 years what will be the value that investment point of you also we should know time value of money if it is clear then you will invest accordingly you will decide whether it is good or bad how much i have to invest now according to the income if you see the income at th after 3 years satisfactory then 1 crore you wanted to not satisfactory less more good then maybe you may invest more than 1 crore also so that is why very important thing is that investment opportunities because future expectation this investment uh, opportunities are based on the future expectations future you are expecting after so and so period i wanted to get so and so money but that value of money after that period what it will be you know that lic companies and bankers all these people their strategy is that uh, right now every year you have to pay this this amount every month you have to pay after 10 years after 20 years after your retirement you are going to get so and so money 
so they'll be saying that right so whenever you hear that don't get tempted calculation time value of money calculation you must know then it will be easy and last point is that inflammatory economy inflammatory economy means uh, inflation is quite common especially in our country india inflammation yeah, that is inflation inflation means cost or the prices will be always increasing slowly inflation sometimes maybe rapidly also when uh, inflammatory economy or inflation is more in our country then automatically you need to know time value of money also somebody is paying something you or somebody wanted to pay you something after some period then you must know inflation what is according to the inflation what is the price so that is why these are the main four concepts that makes you to need to understand that makes you to uh, make it very clear that you must know the time value of money are you getting it so mainly you have to remember this concept time value of money present you have 1 lakh rupee future how much it will be after 5 years after 10 years whatever it may be the period you are expecting and in the same way after 10 years you are going to get 10 lakh rupee right now how much it is are you getting it anyway in the coming class time value of money if you understand what is time value of money the techniques which are used in time value of money that will discuss in depth you have to stay connected you have to focus and whenever you come to my class you need to concentrate are you getting it check out the playlist there are many subjects which already covered whether you are doing mba cs cma or cs bcom bba llb whatever may be the course even btech calls it will be useful don't forget to share this videos and uh, i'm taking lots of time and energy to prepare all this video especially for you all at the rate free of cost stay connected and have a bright career good luck